Hey, it's Marley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Saturday, April 6th. So we had the moon in Pisces all day, so we're a little bit hypersensitive. We're a little bit overstimulated, if you will, and our emotions can definitely get the best of us if we're not careful. But we also have a strength coming through in our intuition, in our creativity, in the depth of understanding some of the downloads that we've already received. And of course, piecing together what needs to stay and what needs to go is definitely cleaning the slate, really cleaning up the space as we enter into this new moon total solar eclipse taking place in Aries energy on the 8th. So this Pisces energy is kind of like a cleansing period. It's a purification period. It's a healing and transformative period of our emotions, of our soul, of our spirit in preparation for this major shift in mood and perspective and attitude and identity coming at us with this eclipse energy. So with that being said, there are 11 different aspects taking place here today. Nine of them are going to involve the moon. The moon in Pisces energy going to come up to bump into team up with Mars. Mars is the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, even our anger. He's in this Pisces energy trying to get emotionally, intuitively, and spiritually in alignment with a new mission, new quest, new purpose. We're aligning with new powers of creativity, of imagination to really get us prepped and prepared for taking action and making moves once Mars actually moves into his rulership in this Aries energy towards the end of the month. And of course, this is about building, cultivating the spark, the fire, the flame to actually see something new be brought to life. The moon is then going to semi-square Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, how it is that we express ourselves, who of course is retrograde in this Aries energy. Our heart space, the moon, the head space, Mercury, they're not on the same page, mostly because Mercury retrograde in this Aries energy is kind of forced to look back, forced to revisit, forced to revise, especially ideas, path, plan, strategy, and focusing on this new version of self, on rewriting the inner realm narrative needed in order to actually collapse the old limiting beliefs, the old ideas, the old version of self, and prepare for this new version, this new cycle, this new chapter to actually be initiated. So there is a little bit of a tug of war. There is a push and pull. Again, this is probably one of those energies that are going to feel overwhelming either in our emotional realm or the confusion in our headspace. Either way, we are not really feeling in alignment or on the same page where our heart and our head are concerned. Mercury is then going to go ahead and semi-square Mars. So this is going to be an interesting dynamic because Mars rules over the Aries energy that Mercury is currently retrograde in. Because this is a semi-square, this is a little bit of a tension point, a little bit of a conflict that will eventually push us into making a choice, making a decision where our growth is concerned. But right now, Mercury, of course, is looking back, really reviewing, reviewing, advising, re-editing some plans, some ideas, while Mars, of course, in this Pisces energy is trying to get in alignment with a higher mission, a higher truth, a higher purpose. So there is some friction there because in our mental plane, we're kind of looking surface level. We're trying to use our, our intellect in order to kind of give us some guidance on what it is that we want to move closer to, what it is that we want to pursue. However, Mars really in that Pisces energy, not really concerned with surface level because the Pisces energy is the depths of our emotion, of our intuition, of our higher selves. This is a purpose, a path, a mission that we are being called to pursue from the higher realms of intelligence, from the higher realms of our higher self. So there is a little bit of friction there. Uh, again, Mercury kind of surface level, Mars definitely doing a deep dive in the depths of our emotions, of our thoughts, of what it is that we're being called to pursue. 
the moon in Pisces energy going to come up to bump into team up with Saturn. Saturn is the Lord of Karma. He rules over our roles, responsibilities, systems, structures, willpower, discipline. And in this Pisces energy, trying to wrap up a 30 year cycle, especially where old living beliefs are concerned, old ideas, old dreams, old visions are concerned. There is a collapsing that needs to happen to particular structures in our physical realms that of course we built on the old version of self with those old ideas, those old dreams, that old purpose. And of course, building something better, something stronger in the place of the things that of course we're no longer in alignment with. A conjunction is an ending just as much as it is a beginning. And in this particular energy, we may feel a little bit of heaviness, a little bit of a harsh reality check. Now that is going to change and transform very quickly into something enlightening, into something empowering. But of course, we have to kind of dabble in the darkness before we're going to see that light. The moon is then going to make a very positive interaction with the north node in Aries energy, really setting us up to think about the future. And again, we're allowing our emotions, our intuition to really guide us on what it is that we feel inspired to pursue, where it is that we feel like we are given an opportunity for growth, for expansion, for bringing new ideas, new creative energy into the physical realm. And right now we're trying to think about the different options, the different variables that we now have to actually move forward. The moon is then going to semi-square Pluto. Pluto is the great transformer himself. He is in this Aquarius energy. This is a tension and conflict point. This is going to stir up a lot of heaviness, a lot of paranoia, maybe even a lot of frustration. Again, Pluto, he does take us on a dark, deep dive in our psyche in order to realize where it is that we've been holding on to old memories, old wounds, if you will, old narratives, where it is that we have to flip the script in order for us to feel more in power, more in control than we actually have been feeling. And of course, the moon in Pisces, very sensitive. And because the intensity of Mr. Pluto is there forcing this change, forcing this transformation, again, this could be one of those times where we're overstimulated. We want to avoid those darker thoughts and feelings. And therefore, we kind of want to check out from reality at this point and live in La La Land where everything is peaceful peachy keen, happy rainbows and butterflies. And of course, Pluto doesn't stand for that. There is going to be a little bit of a harsh reality check coming in our mental plane to realize where it is that we've actually been avoiding some of these tougher thoughts, some of these tougher aspects in our memories, in our actions. And of course, the escape artist, the avoidance tendencies of Pisces energy just wants to run away when really we should be running into it. The only way that we can change and transform is truly acknowledging what it is that isn't working, what it is that's really keeping us down, preventing us from actually leveling up. The moon is then going to interact with the sun. And of course, the sun shining a bright light in Aries energy on what it is that we want to build, what we want to create, where it is that major change in our passion, in our desires, in our identity is definitely taking place. Now, the moon and the sun interacting in any kind of aspect is a new aha moment, a new emotional awareness of what it is that we want, we need, we desire, what it is that we want to pursue. The moon in Pisces has us very strong in our intuition, very much in alignment with our higher selves, very much tapping into new creative force energy. And therefore, the interaction with the sun shining a bright light in this Aries energy is giving us an opportunity to see where it is that we do have the foundation available to us to jump into a new cycle to really kind of level up, power up into this new identity, this new version of self, and start building towards this new goal, this new dream, this new vision. Now, the moon is going to sextile beautiful interaction with Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings. Jupiter is in Taurus energy, an earth sign, and water and earth provide a perfect situation, a perfect environment for growth. 
So this is going to give us an aha moment, an awareness, if you will, of what it is that we need to do for our emotional selves, for our spiritual selves. This is about renewing thyself, refreshing, rejuvenating thyself. Again, Pisces energy, very connected to the, let's call it realignment that we do in Pisces energy as we anticipate a fresh start when the moon actually moves into Aries energy. And so this is an awareness of where it is that, yeah, we've been dealt some tough cards, but this is also an opportunity for us to grow up, for us to glow up, for us to advance and level up in ways that are going to put us in positions to create new opportunities for happiness, for abundance, for security, for stability, for growth. Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money, now in this Aries energy, really testing out this new cycle that she just moved into just a couple of days ago. She is going to be sextiling Pluto, the great transformer himself, in this Aquarius energy. So fire energy and Aquarius energy work really well for inspiration, for new ideas, for cultivating a new, let's call it motivation, determination to actually go after what it is that we want and of course venus being the goddess of love beauty worth pleasure and money she's realizing now especially with this interaction with pluto that she has an intense desire she has new lists of wants needs and desires she's realizing what it is that she's been lacking in her relationship dynamics in her physical realm where comfort pleasure security is concerned maybe it's a financial realization of lack whatever the case may be Realizing what we don't have and what we want is actually creating the framework for the seeds of intentions that we will be planting under this new moon solar eclipse in this Aries energy. And so this is an intensity. Our emotions, our feelings are super strong, hopefully in the most positive ways, but we're really craving this new level of want, need, and desire of going after what it is that we want and filling the voids that we now realize are alive and well in our heart space, in our physical realm. The moon in Pisces is going to make a positive interaction with Chiron, the wounded healer in this Aries energy. Again, Chiron preparing to take center stage under this eclipse event. The moon interacting with Chiron in this way is a healing energy. It's a change and transformational energy that is really putting us in the perspective, in the mood, in the attitude to see this new version of self, the potential, the possibilities. Now that we've grown, now that we've healed, now that we've actually done some of the work to eliminate a lot of the old programming, a lot of the old conditioning that had us in a pattern, a looping behavior that of course was very limiting on where it is that we could grow, we could heal, we could move forward. The last thing that we have going on here today is the moon in Pisces energy, sextiling, beautiful interaction with Uranus, the great awakener in this Taurus energy. So there's a sudden shock to the system. There's a sudden aha moment or epiphany where we do have new ideas on where it is that we could do better, be better, especially when it comes to resting, recovering, and unwinding. Again, the moon in Pisces needs us to kind of slow down in order to recover, rest, realign, regenerate, rejuvenate prior to entering into a brand new cycle, which of course kicks off when the moon moves into Aries energy. So this is going to definitely change our perspective, change our mind, change our mood, change our attitude in how it is that we actually take care of ourselves. <laughs>